Hi, I'm Courtney from Christina. Hi, Shelby. <laughs> and I'm Rachel. So the other day, I go online and I search for a gift for one of my friends. She's really interested in African jewelry and African art. So I type in the Google search bar, African necklace. And it pops up with an image of this woman holding up her head with two of her hands. And I'm there looking at this image, thinking to myself, what on earth is she doing? Well, I researched it. It turns out there's such a thing called the Long Neck Tribe. The Long Neck Tribe resides in different African tribes. And they wear these rings around their neck to give off the impression of stretching one's neck. The rings indicate one's social status and wealth and is said to enhance one's beauty and give them ritual powers. However, the rings do not actually um, stretch one's neck. They distortion their ribs and displace their collarbone. The African tribes are not the only ones to do this. There is a subgroup in Karen, Asia, called the Padawans, who also wear these neck rings. The Padawans live in a village that is open to tourists as a tourist attraction, and they have to pay seven dollars to get in and see the long neck tribe in Padawan. The tourists usually do not call the village the village, rather they call it the human zoo. The, however, the Padawans stick to tradition and keep wearing these neck rings because it is said that the neck rings ward off tigers and help cure them when there is a tiger bite and makes them more unattractive so that slave traders do not choose them. The Padawans also only used to allow young girls born on Wednesday from the full moon wear the neck ring, but due to tourist demand, they are allowing other young girls to wear them as well. So while online searching for the perfect gift for my friend, I was virtually sucked into the world of Africa and Asia to learn about their similar cultures that come together for the neck ring but I was not able to find a perfect gift. And I wonder, maybe my friend would just like to go to a human zoo. Thank you.